Hello everyone, I'm Bunti Hajorka. Welcome to my channel Learn Mathematics from Zero. Today we will discuss NCERT Class 7 Maths Chapter 2 Fractions and Decimals Exercise 2.5. Okay, so let's start the exercise. Question number 1 It is given which is greater. Okay, those who are new to my channel, you just first you go through my introduction video of this chapter then you come to this video okay so fine question number one what is given 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 so to compare to decimal what to do first you have to compare the integral part that means before the zero if before the entry before the decimal point if it is equal then we have to go through the decimal part so after decimal here it will be 5 here, here it will be 0 so which is greater 5 or 0 definitely 5 so which one is greater question number 1 0.5 is greater than 0 0.05 then question number 2 so here before the decimal point 0 0 so no need to compare that we have to compare the number digit which is after the decimal so here 7 here it is 7 here it is 5 so definitely 7 is greater that means we have to compare the tenths place okay which place t e n t h s tenths place we have to compare on this to decimal number okay so then 0 0.7 is greater than 0 0.5 next question number 3 7 and 0 0.7 so this is not in the form of decimal but we can write 7.0 and here it will be 0 0.7 now see definitely before the decimal point here it is 7 here it is 0 so which one is greater this one so 7 is greater than 0 0.7 okay next come to the question number 4 in question number 4 in integral part here also one here also one in decimal part in tens place here it is 3 here it is 4 that means this one is the greater okay so how you can write you can write like that also 1.49 is greater than 1.37 because in the question what is asked which is greater so that is why first we have to write the greater one okay come to the question number 5 2.03 or 2.30 see before the decimal that means in integral part here also two here also true two after the decimal in tens place here it is 0 here it is 3 so definitely this will be greater so 2.30 is greater than 2.03 come to the question number 6 before the decimal here also 0 here also 0 now this is after the point here also here it is 8 here also 8 but after 8 here is there any digit no but to compare both the number you can write both the decimal number as a like decimal 0.88 now this place it is 0 no num no digit is there that means it is, we can put it as 0 and here it is 8 definitely this is greater so 0 0.88 is greater than 0 0.80 children you understand okay then come to the next question which is greater okay by mistakenly this is repeating okay come to the question number two sorry now express as rupees using decimals okay now see we know that hundred they say equal to 1 rupee. Okay. Now see. 
to convert paisa to rupee so 1 paise equal to what 1 by 100 rupee that means to convert paise into rupee we have to divide that number by what 100 okay so you can write like that also since 1 rupee like this you write better since 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee now for to find out for the smaller number that means here it is 100 here it is 1 then we will get the rupee as a small yes 1 by 100 <coughs> sorry Okay, for how many paise we have to find out? 7. 7 paise equal to 7 by 100 rupee. Rupees. So 0 0.07 rupees. Okay, in every equation if you will not write this part also, then also okay. Next. Come to the question number 2. In question number 2, what is given? 7 rupees 7 paise. So, question number 1, I will rub it. So, before that, you please pause the video and write it down. Question number 2, what is given? 7 rupees 7 paise and already i have given one video i made one video on the conversion of units okay so first you go through that video then it will be easy for you now so 7 rupees and 7 paise so both are in the form of combination okay so, 7 rupees plus 7 paise. So, where we have to convert rupees. Already this is in rupee. So, only you have to convert in paise part. <coughs> so, just now we have to convert 7 paise. It will be what? 7 by 100. Simply I will write it. It's rupee. So, 7 plus 0 0.07 rupees. It will be 7.07 rupees. So, now see, some students, it, the question may arise that how 7 plus 0 0.07 can be added? 7. 0 0.07 now see 7 is not in the form of decimal but we can write as a decimal putting the point decimal here then 0 0 now both the number are in the form of like decimal okay now come to the next question question number 3 question number 3 it will be 77 rupees plus 77 paise. <coughs> so 77 plus 77 by 100. Then it will be converted into what? Rupees. So both are now already this is already in rupee but this one also I have converted into rupee. That is why I have given a bracket. That means both the term are in rupee. Okay. Now say it will be 77 plus 0 0.77 rupees. So like question number 2, how we can write 77.77 rupees. 
okay next question number 4 question number 4 will be 50 paise 50 paise so it will be 50 by 100 when you will divide by 100 immediately you have to change the unit also then it will be one rupees so it is 0 0.50 rupees okay next question number 5 235 paise so it will be 235 divided by 100 then it will be rupees so it will be what 2.35 rupees okay understand okay then come to the next expression say here to understand to convert correctly so first of all you have to know that how much pesa is equal how much rupee okay if you know that one definitely you can okay next question number three express five centimeter in meter and kilometer express 35 millimeter into centimeter meter and kilometer okay for this already i made one video okay so on that video i have mentioned that you have to remember only one table so it is milli centi decimeter deca hecto kilometer okay question number one five centimeter so five centimeter when you will convert into meter it will be five see it is in centimeter to convert into meter you have to go towards upward when you will go towards upward we have to divide so how many steps two steps so you have to divide 5 by 100 because in one step 10 two step it will be 100 then it will be converted into meter okay so 0 0.05 meter next where you have to convert kilometer again 5 centimeter so from centimeter to kilometer 1 2 3 4 5 how many steps you have to go upwards 5 steps okay so you have to divide 5 by how many so after 1 we have to give 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 then it will be converted into kilometer so 0 point see how many zero five zero so the point will be in the numerator the point will be before five digit but already here five is included so zero 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 five kilometer okay so um, it will be kilometer okay correct only now come to the question number two in question number two what is given convert 35 millimeter millimeter to first centimeter okay so millimeter to centimeter how many step one so we have to divide 35 by 10 then it will be converted into centimeter okay so in decimal it will be what 3.5 centimeter next 35 millimeter we have to convert into uh, meter so how many step 1 
to three steps yes so 35 divided by 1000 it will be meter so 0 0.035 meter again 35 millimeter can be converted into kilometer yes kilometer so how many steps see 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have to divide it by 35 by 1 how many zero 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 then it will be converted into kilometer now see that means in the numerator we have to put the decimal point before six digits okay but already two digits are here so three four five six point zero then it is kilometer okay i hope all the children you understand properly okay now come to the next question question number four express in kg okay again for that also we have to apply the same milli centi deci gram deca hecto h hecto kilogram same table first one 200 gram to convert gram into kg gram into kg how many steps three steps so it will be 200 by 1000 gram so it will be you can write 0 0.200 gra, uh, kg sorry here it will be kg or you can write 0 0.2 kg you have another method also okay see what's the matter so 1000 gram equal to 1 kg definitely for 1 gram it will be less so 1 by 1000 kg then for 200 200 by 2000 kg so it will give you same answer 0 0.200 kg same answer you will get okay but here simply you can do and here you have to write the statement okay next question number two three four seven zero gram so again we have to divide this one by 1000 then it will be converted into kg so what will be the answer 3.470 kg okay lastly we have to do 4 kg 8 gram okay for that i will rub this table same process only that is why Question number 3, 4 kg plus 8 gram. Already this is in kg, 4 kg. To convert gram into kg, we have to divide it by what? 1000. Then it will be converted into kg. So it is 4 kg plus 0 0.008 kg. So, when we will com combine both the number, it will be 4.008 kg. This is the correct answer. Okay. Now, come to the next question. Okay, children, so if suppose you have any queries, then please write in the comment box. Question number 5. Write the following decimal in the expanded form. Okay, so 1, 
twenty point zero three. Okay. So how we can write twenty can be written as two is in tens place. So we can write two into ten plus zero into one plus zero into one by ten plus three into one by hundred or or you can write twenty plus zero plus zero by ten plus three by hundred this way also you can write both are correct question number two I will write like that 2.03 which will be 2 plus 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100. Okay. Next question number 3. 200.03. Now see here you can write. See in ones place and tens place no value so 200 plus you can write 0 plus 0 also and i think it is meaningless so simply you can write 200 plus 0 by 10 plus 3 by 100 now see if you will if there will be the digit here in tens place, then you can write as a tens. Okay. Or if you have any confusion, then you can write this way also. In the tens place, zero. Ones place also zero. Tenths place zero. That is why we have written zero by ten. Hundreds place. Both are correct. If you will simply write two hundred plus this. By skipping these two number, then also you will get the same answer. Okay. Question number four. 2.034. So it will be 2 plus 0 by 10, 3 by 100, plus 4 by 1000. Okay. So, this is the expanded form. Now, come to the question number 6. Write the place value of 2 in the following decimal. Okay. Now, place and place value. There is a difference. Okay. I will show you in one question. Say, 2.56. What is asked? You have to write the place value. Okay, now in this question, what is the place of 2? This is the digit which is placed before the decimal point. So, this place is what? Once and place value will be what? Place value will be 2 into 1. That is 2. Okay. First, we have to find out the place, then place value. So, how to write? Place value. Place value of 2 in 2.56 equal to 2 into 1, which is 2. Come to the question number 2. 21.37. So here, what is the place of 2? Tens. Place value will be what? 2 into 10. Okay, that is the place value. Here place is 1. And what is the number 2? So it is 2 into 1. Similarly here, place value of 2 
in 21.37 is 2 into 10 equal to 20. Okay, 20. Next, question number 3. Place value. Place value of 2 in 10.25. Now see, what is the place here? Tens place. Which place? Tens place. What is the number 2? So place value will be 2 into 1 by 10. Then it is 2 by 10. Okay. I think uh, you have a clear idea now. Place and place value. So it will be 2 into 1 by 10 which is 2 by 10 and in decimal you can write 0. Point <coughs> sorry 2. Question number 4. Place value. Of 2 in 9.42 is equal to what? The number and the place. What is the place? Hundreds. 2 by 100. It will be 2 by 100. That means in decimal 0 0.02. Okay. So in question number 5. That one I will do in the top. So I have to wrap that one. Simply, this is the one, this is, oh wait, just a minute. Question number 5, I am writing here. Place value, place value of 2 in 63.352 is equal to 2 into which place? Thousands place. 1000. So 2 by 1000. 0 0.002. Which is the place value. Okay. Now come to the next question. Okay. What is given? Dinesh went from place A to place B. And from there to place C. Okay, first place A to B, then C. A is 7.5 kilometer from B. It is 7.5 kilometer. And B is 12.7 kilometer from C. 12.7. Okay. Ayub went from place A to place D. And from there, to place C. Okay. D is 9.3 kilometer from A. D is 9.3 kilometer. Okay. And C is 11.8 kilometer from D. This is 11.8 kilometer. Who travel more? And by how much? Okay. So. From A and C is. Okay. Fine. Now what is given? So first we have to find the distance travel by Dinesh. Okay. Solution we have to write. Dinesh. Or you can write distance. Distance traveled traveled by Dinesh from A to C from A to C will be what? C A to B from to go from A to C, it will be what? AB plus 
BC. Yes. So it will be 7.5 kilometer plus BC will be 12.7 kilometer. So how to do the addition? 7.5, 12.7. So always the point will be in the same line. 5 plus 7, 12 to carry 1. 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10, 0. So it will be 20.2 kilometer. Okay. <coughs> now the distance travel by IO. Okay. So distance traveled by Ayub from where to where? From A to D. A to D. Okay. From A to D. Then it will be what? A to D is Okay, just a minute. I went from the place A, uh, place A to place D and from there to place C. Okay, first he come A to D, then again C. Okay, so it will be how we can write A to C. Okay, because he has gone from A to C. So, first he has gone from A to D, then D to C. Okay. What is the distance of AD? It will be A to D, it is 9.3 kilometer. And plus D to C, it will be 11.8 kilometer. Okay. So, what will be the sum? 9.3, 11.8. So, 9... 3 plus 8, 11, 1, 9 plus 1, 10 plus 1. So it will be 21 point, 21 point 1 kilometer. So what is asked in the question? Who travel more by how much? Okay. Who travel more by how much? So you have to write since 21 point 1 kilometer is greater than 20.2 kilometer. Okay. Hence, I hope traveled more by to find out how much he has traveled more. What to do? We have to subtract 21 Point 0.1 minus 20.2. So it will be <coughs> 9 0 0.9 kilometer. Okay. Next, come to the next question. Question number 8. Shyama bought 5 kg 300 gram apples and 3 kg 250 gram mangoes. Sarala bought 4 kg 800 gram oranges and 4 kg 150 gram bananas. Who bought more fruits? Okay, same process. Okay. First of all, we have to combine. We have to find out total amount. Then we have to compare. Okay. So, how to write fruits? Fruits brought by Fruits bought by Shama will be what? 5 kg 300 gram apples plus 3 kg 250 gram mangoes. Okay, so first of all, we have to convert the whole 5 kg and 300 grams into kg. So, 
already 5 is in kg 300 you have to convert in kg by dividing 1000 so simply we can write 5.300 not 300 sorry 5.300 kg but when you will say 5 kg then you can say 300 gram okay kg apples And this one 3.250 kg mangoes. Okay. So when we will add both the decimal number then we will get 8.550 kg of fruits. Okay. Then fruits bought by Sarala by Sarala is what first one 4 kg 800 gram oranges Plus 4 kg 150 gram bananas. Okay. So again we have to convert both the term into kg. So it will be 4.800 kg oranges plus 4.800 one five zero kg bananas so total it will be zero five nine eight kg of fruits okay what is asked in the question who bought more fruits okay who bought so when we will convert, uh, combine, uh, compare, sorry, when we will compare this two, then see decimal integral part is same. When we will go through the decimal part, here it is five, here it is nine. So definitely who bought more Sarala. So how to write? Since eight point nine five. 0 kg yes is greater than 8.550 kg ok hence Sarala bought more fruits Is it? Yes. Then come to the next. And I think this is the last question of this exercise and today's class also. How much less is 20 kilometer than 42.6 kilometer? Okay. So how much less here it is asked. So since 28 kilometer is less than 42.6 kilometer. So how much to find out how much we have to subtract the smaller one from the bigger one. So it will be 42.6. But this is not in the form of decimal. But we can write 28.0. Is it in the form of decimal now? Yes. So 6, 3, 1. Point. So hence 28 kilometer is less than 42.6 kilometer by 14.6 kilometer okay so that's it for today so i think in this chapter only one exercise left so that way that one we will do in the next class then we will complete the whole chapter also okay thank you and have a nice day